Hey guys, this is DJ Conflict 713 and today I'll be showing you um, how to get one of the best, one of the most fun, and the, and the most productive application on the Android market. It is called MK Remote. It is developed by DevBury and what it does is what I'm about to show you. Alright, let's go ahead on my phone and unlock the phone. Okay, now go on over and if you don't have this uh, application, what you can do is click on Android Market and download it. Just look up MK Remote and let's fire it up. Um, it will ask you f to donate, but uh, what you could do is um, hit no thanks. The difference between the donation donated version and the um, Light version is that uh, you have Bluetooth support, and right now, right now, uh, unless you don't have wireless network, which is required, or if you just want Bluetooth support, then uh, I suggest go ahead and donate. If not, then just keep the live version. And since this is on, uh, still beta, it will have bugs and issues, so we have to live with that. And then go on to devbury.com, download the download the server for Windows, Mac, or Linux, Linux if you have it. Right now I've already downloaded it and let's fire it up. Okay, well, it's starting up. And of course you go over to your phone and make sure you have the client on and as you can see it's on my taskbar and you could hit options. Um, and you can set the password and or you can leave it blank if you want and you can change the port here also if if for some reason your uh, again your uh, firewall on your router is messing up or something you can just change the port right here going over to your phone uh, snap my phone went to sleep and click on menu select or search server and as you can see it says Windows Vista 6.1 6 and that's the server right now but right now I'm win running Windows 7 Ultimate 64 bit so it will still say Vista because you know, I guess the person did not update update his uh, application yet so we'll click on that and let's see it works as you can see I'm moving the mouse around using my phone's touch screen you can also use the trackball if you have a trackball on your phone that is and you could also use a on-screen keyboard on on your android phone and type on the screen itself it's pretty neat I have, uh, actually the range is um, I guess unlimited as far as your wireless network allows you to Alright, so let's see, let's just type something. Alright, let's bring up the keyboard. Let's see, absolutely no lag. It's pretty clean and also has feedback, fun uh, haptic feedback. So if you click on something, your phone will vibrate. And that's all. It's pretty fun and say if you're in your bed or something and you want to control your computer you could just fire up your phone and do it of course uh, you'd need to download the server for your computer or for your operating system rather and um, and you need the application on your phone uh, the light version or the paid version it really doesn't matter you also need a wireless network Wi-Fi Wi-Fi network on your in your house I have uh, two routers so don't ask um, and you need an Android phone of and of course, you, it does not have to be rooted, or you do not need root a, root access. Uh, my, right now, mine is rooted, but you could actually have a stock 1.5 donut or 1.6 uh, cupcake, or rather 1.6 cupcake, 1.5 donut, whatever ROM you have. Or I don't I don't know if it works on 2.1, but you could give it a try. And um, hopefully, you subscribe to my channel, and I'll have more I'll have more uh, videos on. Uh, Android develop development and other you know cool things you could do with your computer phones cars whatever and just check out my channel youtube.com slash DJ conflict 713 and hopefully you like this video
I'll see you. I'll see you next time. Bye.